it's time to change all your class setups immediately here in Modern Warfare 2. Tuning has finally been cracked and there are a lot of mistakes I know you guys have been making, hell, even I've made in the past. And in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing how you guys can properly tune your weapons to maximize damage range, recoil control, as well as aim down sight speed. If you enjoy what you hear, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. The like goal is gonna be 500 likes. And as always, if you guys wanna stay up to date with any and all, best class setups and tunes, best settings, tips and tricks, or when we notify with any new updates, go live here in Mono for two. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's get right into it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and showcase how you can properly tune weapons here in Mono for two to maximize damage range, recoil control, as well as aim down sight speed. I feel like those are gonna be the most important attributes when trying to create a best class setup. And a lot of that can get confusing with the tuning. Now for the TAC-56, obviously you're gonna have to go ahead and create a best class setup. Now for this weapon, I like to go ahead and put on the demo clean shot grip. For the stock, I go ahead and put on the Cardinal stock. For the barrel, I like to put on the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro. For the muzzle, you can go ahead and run either the Harbringer D20 or the Echolus 80. Both are great options. I personally like the Harbringer D20. And then for the under barrel, I like the Commando foregrip. Now, where people get confused is how to actually properly tune these weapons. I do recommend you actually plugging up a mouse to your console. If you play on console, if you play on PC, use a mouse it's going to be 300 times easier to actually stop the cursor when you actually are maxing out the attribute you're trying to go ahead and take advantage of so we're going to go over to the rear grip first and we're going to select tuning now we're going to transition over to the mouse here now obviously when you guys are building a setup you want to have something that has a fast handling fast ads something that you can move around with and run and gun with and have a good time so what you're going to be looking for is when the handling icon is essentially at its max, not anywhere further, because you can actually go ahead and have a negative value, which in turn making your weapon worse than it actually was without the tuning. So what I like to do here is like the max out, or I should say max out the sprint to fire speed. We're going to go ahead and slide over to the handling tab until we see it actually reach its peak and we're not going to go any further. Now, right here about 0.28, you can see here that it really isn't going anywhere. And then right when we start to get into the 30s, it's starting to decrease as you guys can see there. And then as we kind of get maxed out, it hasn't moved. So we're going to scroll it back. I know this is very confusing. But once we get to point 28, that's kind of where this is going to be maxed out at. And that's kind of where we're going to go ahead and leave it alone. You can see how it's starting to move and go back. Right here is where it's just going to be its max setting at around point 28. Again, having a mouse is going to be the best way to do this. Because you're going to be able to see exactly where things are moving and where things are kind of digressing and getting worse. I also want to go over to the aim down sight speed because this is another important attachment or I should say capability that we can do with this attachment with tuning here. So we're going to go over and again, we're going to see handling increasing even more. This is the attribute we're trying to go ahead and increase. We're trying to bump up the handling. Now we're going to move it up until we see it each reach its peak. And then once it starts to digress, we are going to stop. You can see here that it actually is not moving, but once you start getting it to max, it slowly starts to digress here. So you see it hit its peak right around 0.36. I know it's very, very, very confusing. It's very, very annoying that this is the system we have to go ahead and deal with. But again, that is what's a part of the game and you're gonna have to tune your weapons accordingly. Now, we're obviously going to transition over to the stock here. And for the tuning here, I'll have to go ahead and max out the aim walking speed. Again, this is going to work for all of the weapons. You want to look for the attribute that is going to be essentially at the max peak before it starts to digress. So here for the aim walking speed, we're going to go ahead and bump up the mobility tab until we see its peak. And then when it starts to digress, we are going to stop. You can see as it starts to max out, it isn't moving, and then it starts to go back. 
so when it reaches its peak is going to be right around this point or 1.83 or negative 1.83 this is where it's like at its max so we're going to go ahead and stop it in this area here and not go any further now we're also going to go ahead and max out the aim down sight speed another attachment capability we have with the stock with tuning so here we're going to go ahead and increase the handling we're going to move up handling until we actually see its peak and then when it's done we're going to stop you can see that it's actually not moving anymore once you max it out but it is at its peak right around this 2.61 here so we're going to leave it at this 2.61 area where it reaches its peak and it's not moving so we're going to go ahead and max it out here so 2.61 and that's how we would go ahead and tune the stock on the attack 56 or how we would tune the stock on any assault rifle here in modern warfare 2. now we're going to go over to the barrel where the same thing is going to apply now personally i'm more of a damage range type of person but you can slide it for aim down sight speed or damage range depending on what you're trying to look for now for damage range we're going to go over and we're going to slide it until we see the range attribute meet its peak and we're not going to go ahead and go any further you guys can see here that it is not moving it's pretty much as soon as we start to slide it it maxes out so we're going to be done here pretty much at around 0.25 we don't want to go ahead and devalue any other attribute of this class that we're just going to max out what we're intending on going ahead and making better now we're going to go ahead and max out the aim walking speed because that's going to be another attribute i feel is going to be very important on this assault rifle again if you want recoil steadiness you could do that as well but we're going to be looking for the mobility here and you can see here even with the mobility section you're going to be seeing that it's going to adjust the recoil and it's also going to adjust the handling here so we're going to be looking for a max value before things start to go ahead and go negative because again we're trying to max out that aim walking speed you saw a big jump around 0.32 and then we're not really going to see anything else and you can see it start to digress so around 0.32 is where we're going to go ahead and leave this and essentially tune the barrel on this assault rifle and then finally we're going to go over to the muzzle and we're going to slide for bullet velocity you could slide for aiming auto stability and we're also going to be sliding for that aim down sight speed because again i want to max out pretty much two things at one here close range as well as long range now for bullet velocity again we're going to go ahead and slide it till we have effective range and then we're going to stop it when it maxes or i should say where it starts to max and decrease and here you can see once we actually start getting to the end of here it's pretty much done so around 0.91 is when it's done we're going to stop right there now we're going to go ahead and max out the aim down sight speed which is going to increase the handling you can see here and we're going to essentially move it until we see no more play which is going to be around 1.31 and that's how we're going to go ahead and tune the harbinger d20 muzzle on this weapon now we're going to jump into the firing range just to showcase how effective this gun is now you can see here we have a relatively fast aiming pack 56 class setup we're gonna have to burst fire it at extreme long ranges but a multiplayer these ranges down to the firing range are going to be pretty much past the effective range you're going to be ever getting into a gunfight with but for more for the most part this is going to be the best attack 56 is going to get and that's pretty much how you can effectively tune weapons here in modern warfare 2 as of right now let me know down in the comment section right now what you guys think of tuning do you guys like this feature do you guys despise this feature honestly 
I'm kind of impartial. I do like the ability of fine tuning your weapons in order for them to feel exactly how you want, but I do want them to kind of give more facts, more evidence, and more of a detailed representation on exactly what is happening with your weapon after you go ahead and tune it, as opposed to just essentially sliding a dial and just seeing, you know, values change on a chart i think that's a little bit confusing a lot of people are unaware on how tuning works and honestly i think some people are even unaware that tuning is even a feature in this game or even know how to go ahead and work it but again that's my opinions let me know down in the comment section what you guys think if you guys need any more help tuning feel free to go ahead and let the comments flow now the comment section i'm sure i can help you guys out and i'm definitely positive some people in the comment section will help you guys out as well so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys drop a like on the video Subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications. Been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.